The first thing we're going to do is design our visual elements for the quiz game. That means setting up the sprites and a background. So I'm going to start by deleting the sprite that we have here, which by default is the cat. By the way, any uh, sprite in Scratch is just a um, visual element object which uh, is controlled by the programming language. So I'm going to del delete that and I'm going to change it for a new sprite, which I get here. And I'm going to click on people and I'll just scroll down and see what's available. I'm going to choose this one. And I'm going to get two sprites because I want to create the um, illusion of the sprite walking. So one walking, one standing. I'll call this sprite walking. And I'll call this sprite standing. Okay, so now I've got my two sprites. I'm going to create my stage background. So I click on stage here and I look at backgrounds. I'm going to import a stage background. Um, and I'm going to choose an indoor background. And I'll choose the spotlight stage. So there we have it. There I have all my main visual elements. I've got my sprite and I've got the background. Now all I need is a start button. So I look for another sprite here, click on things, click on button. Okay, at the moment it hasn't got the word start on it, so what I need to do is edit that. So I click on costumes and I click edit. I'm just going to type the word start. At the moment though it's a little bit too big for the button. So I'm going to reduce that to 14. That's perfect. Okay, so now I've got the start button, my main sprite, which is the quiz master, and the quiz master's background. The next thing we need to start doing is inputting our code because of course at the moment we've only got visual elements and they won't do anything by themselves. So let's start by clicking on the scripts tab for the stage and we're going to click on the control tab from there and drag this when the green flag is clicked block. From there we're going to add the forever block which means that any code inside the forever block will be continually repeated while the program is running. And we're going to start by making a variable, um, which will be our school variable. So click on make a variable, type in school. And of course, we'll start with setting the score to zero so that with each new game, the score starts at zero. And then from there, we need to click a broadcast message that tells the start button sprite to show and hide as appropriate. So you get that from control and look for the broadcast um, and wait block. Click new. And we're going to call that show start button. Then we need one more broadcast message, which is broadcast and wait again. Uh, but this time we're going to call it start, start quiz. Next up, what we want to do is uh, concentrate on the coding behind the start button. Uh, what we want is that once the player clicks on the start button, our script will hide the button and allow the program to start. So to do this, we first add the block when I receive show start button, which is from the control tab again. And then we 
um, add a show block from the looks category. So here's our looks category, uh, look for show, and just add that there. Uh, we then, then need a wait until option, um, which is in here as well, wait until. And what we're wanting to do is wait until um, the mouse is uh, clicking on the button. Okay, so going to add an operator, uh, which is just here, and a sensing option. So when touching mouse pointer, and the mouse is actually clicked, mouse down, We're going to have the start button hidden, so hide, and it's just good practice to then stop the script. Now what we need to do is create a list of questions and answers that our Quizmaster here will have. So I'm going to click on our Quizmaster, by the way we should call him Quizmaster, and from there we're going to make a list. I'm going to call that list questions and this is brilliant for any teacher really um, in as much as you can make your own questions according to your subject but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click here and write questions related to computers so my first question will be what is a common name for a computer screen And my next question, click here again, is going to be what is the name of a computer import device that we use to type? Next, one more, what computer import device is named after an animal. Okay. So there we have it, my three questions. Now I just need to make one more list and we'll call that list answers. And in here I obviously just write the answers to the aforementioned questions I've just made. So first answer is monitor. Now don't worry about this being uppercase or lowercase, um, it's irrelevant, it doesn't make any difference. Number two, keyboard, and number three, mouse. And there we have it, there's my questions and answers. Now I'm going to uncheck these so they're hidden and they don't get in the way of our sprite or background. Then what we'll do is we'll start with programming how our sprite will enter the stage. So uh, what we'll um, start with is when the green flag is clicked, our sprite will be um, initially hidden until the start button is clicked. So what we'll do is go on to looks here and click hide and drag this over. Then we need to click on when I receive start quiz. We want the sprite to enter from around here so roughly what that can be is the coordinate negative two, three, four, zero. Okay, because scratch works on x, y coordinates. 
and then we'll click on launch again click show so all that uh, is saying is that when the start start quiz uh, is activated the sprite will come on from the stage from this direction here then what we need is the repeat code uh, to repeat the walking so we don't have to write down a long list of uh, one step after another step after another step instead it will just repeat the motion so inside this repeat block here I'm going to click on move 10 steps and underneath that remove uh, move 10 steps we're going to have wait a wait option which is just here we'll wait 0 0.5 seconds the reason we have the wait block here is uh, it creates a transition between our sprites so we've got different types of walking sprite um, and in fact let's look at our sprites here we've got the we'll call it walking one and then walking two and in fact, we also need another sprite here for when the sprite addresses the audience. Uh, so we need a sprite that's facing the audience. So that's what I'm going to include now um, by clicking on import. And I'll choose this one. And I'll call this sprite facing. Okay, so back on our scripts now. I'm going to click on looks and switch costume here to walking two and then I'm going to just repeat this code for move 10 again wait 0 0.5 and switch costume again back to walking one and all of that's all that does now if we just check is it creates a walking effect of our sprite on the stage what we then want to do is for the sprite to stop and face the audience so to do that we'll drag this switch costume to facing and so when that line of code is complete it will face the audience and it will say welcome to the computer quiz oops to say that for two seconds welcome to the computer quiz and we also just need another wait here wait zero point five we'll just check how that works Excellent, there we go.